All right, all right, welcome back. Okay, so I did recently a video about Lumen, and it's, you know, um, talking about Lumen Reflections, and I have a little more to say about it. All right, so this is the scene that I've been working lately, you know, testing Lumen, and right now is 100% being lead with Lumen, right? So all the lights, everything, it's Lumen. And um, I want to show you a little trick that I found out. Uh, look at these reflections. Oh my God, they are, they are perfect. So what is the magic here? Well, I guess that some of you already saw it. I don't know if you can really tell there. All right. So this is, this is no magic. This isn't real allowing you, if you go to the outliner and you go to your lighting post-processing volume, the post-processing volume will allow you to use mixed methods of creating effects. So for example, you have global illumination, you can set lumen, you have reflections, you can set lumen, or maybe you want to mix it out and you want all the reflections to be captured by hard work ray tracing. So, you know, everything, global illumination, shadows, all that will be uh, driven by lumen and only the reflections, as you see, you have true working reflections with uh, ray tracing. And be because it's just that what ray tracing is doing, it's not that harsh on your calculations, even, you know, if you take it a little bit further, like four samples and, you know, maybe five bounces, you know, that can start, you know, taking a little bit more. But still, just because it's, it's reflections, it will be, you know, good enough. Now, you can go even further because what you can do is to leave your um, primary uh, post-processing volume, you know, the one that encompass your whole scene or this one right here, or, you know, the one that is unbound and you can duplicate it, change it from unbound to, you know, th that means that if, if it's not unbound, it will only affect on this uh, small square right here, this, this small box. And, you know, what you need to remember is to set the priority higher than the original, right? So that means that when you come in like this, now ray tracing is going to be activated. If you go out, now ray trace is going to be off and the rest of the reflections is going to be driven by lumen. So you can use it wherever you need it. So if, for example, you have like a camera, you want to start your short right here, you can use uh, reflections from ray tracing. And, you know, then you can create another camera, you know, around here, and then you're going to use all your uh, roughness reflections with Lumen, and that should be it, all right? So, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you like this type of short. This is going to be a short video, and you know the drill. Um, be good, love you all, see you soon. Bye-bye.